asteroid Apophis reaches our Earth in 2029 and could still impact Earth in 2068, it's a possibility according to a new study. And this is the asteroid Apophis path. As you can see, it comes closer than our satellites. NASA has asteroid missions. It has recently taken a sample from asteroid Bennu because it wants to ascertain what these asteroids are made up of even though uh, they may not be the same material. This is a NASA picture of asteroid Bennu. As we know, we've had many Earth impacts. We have scars on Earth, Mars, and the Moon showing us that impacts do take place. Kindly support my Patreon account because YouTube has again demonetized my channel. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. These are just some of the samples. This is the Manicougan, Quebec, Canada impact site. This is a, an asteroid impact crater and also a very well-known one in uh, Arizona. Okay, it's coming up. As you'll see, this is one of the famous ones, the Arizona impact crater and many others. Now, an asteroid which scientists ruled out from potentially hitting our Earth could still be on the collision course with our planet, according to the new study. It's not asteroid Bennu, it's asteroid Apophis. Now, new research around the fierce Apophis asteroid found chemical reactions taking place on the surface of the space rock could slightly nudge 370 meter wide, that's about uh, uh, 1,200 feet wide asteroid to a collision course with our Earth. In the early 2000s, NASA feared that Apophis could hit Earth in 2029, giving a 2.8% chance of colliding with our Earth. But uh, this was ultimately ruled out by experts who said it would safely pass our planet in 2029, this decade. It will next pass our planet in 2068. And NASA had believed there was no possible chance of collision then either. But new calculations from the University of Hawaii Institute for Astronomy, IFA for short, shows there is a chance, albeit it's very small, that the asteroid could hit in 2068. Now we know what the scientists found with the samples going out with the uh, Osiris Rex spacecraft heading towards asteroid Bennu, where they took the sample a couple of days ago. They said that there were chunks of uh, debris being flung out, and they believe that that's because of the fact that the sun's rays, the solar radiation causes the temperature variations on the Bennu asteroid, causing it to crack and fly off in certain cases. And this could be going on with asteroid Apophis as well. It's uh, also what we know as the Yars Yarkovsky effect. The heat on the surface of asteroids changes its um, uh, temperature and it causes the asteroid to somehow uh, flake off, crack, causing little earthquakes and cracks on the uh, celestial body, and also causes it to tumble on its axis and perhaps change its trajectory, even though it's going, they're going at tremendous speeds through the, uh, the universe. Now, new calculations concerning asteroid Apophis from the University of Hawaii show there's a chance, even though very small, that it could hit us in 2068. Astronomer Dave Tholen and his uh, colleagues announced that the detection of the small Yarkovsky acceleration on the surface of the asteroid, in other words, this is what we're talking about, the solar uh, rays causing a temperature differential, causing the uh, geologic changes to go on on the asteroid, cracking because of the heat and the expansion, and then the contraction, expansion and contraction. This causes cracks in the debris to be cracking off. Or if it has ice in the, in the case of a comet, uh, obviously it has, that's, that's what causes the comet's tail. But the Yarkovsky effect is, as we know, when the asteroid or celestial body changes its orbit due to a small push of heat, either from itself expelling gases or the gravitational push and shove from celestial bodies, including the Sun and the Earth. 
So in this instance with the uh, Apophis asteroid, scientists discovered a small thermal reaction which could slightly alter Apophis's course and sending it, sending it more earthbound. Now, according to Toland, the chances the asteroid will hit Earth in 2016 are 1 in 530,000. He says, while this may seem an almost insignificant amount, to put it into perspective, the chance of you winning the jackpot on the Euro Millions is 1 in 139,830, 139,838,160. Now, Tholen said, we have known for some time that an impact with Earth is not possible during this uh, Apophis Pass in 2029 close approach. He says, the new observations we obtained with the Subaru telescope early this year were good enough to reveal the Yarkovsky acceleration of Apophis, and they show that the asteroid is drifting away from a purely gravitational orbit by about 170 meters a year which is enough to keep the 2016 impact scenario in play. The statement from the University of Hawaii said, quote, all asteroids need to re-radiate as heat the energy they absorb from the sunlight in order to maintain thermal equilibrium, a process that slightly changes the orbit of the asteroid. Prior to the detection of Yarkovsky acceleration on Apophis, astronomers have concluded that a potential impact with Earth in 2068 was impossible. But the detection of this effect, the Yarkovsky effect, of course, acting on Apophis asteroid means that the 2068 impact scenario is still a possibility. Further observations to refine the amplitude of the Yarkovsky effect and how it affects Apophis orbit are underway. Astronomers will know well before 2068 if there is any chance of an impact that is, of Apophis impacting our Earth. And this is by Sean Martin on Express UK. And look, I mean, this should be an international effort. Uh, everybody should be very concerned about celestial bodies impacting the Earth because this has happened many times in the past. And it was an extinction level event. Let's take, for example, the 66 million years ago asteroid impact in the Yucatan Peninsula that put an end to the dinosaurs and other impact events that we have throughout the world, not just asteroids, but also huge comet impacts. And we see these scars on the Moon and Mars and on the Earth, and um, a lot of them uh, have been uh, covered up because, as we know, the Earth's uh, crust every 200 million years changes its subducts and uh, we come, comes back up again as new crust. But uh, the ones that are over, uh, older than 200 million years ago, the, those, those crater impacts are not very easily found. So this is something that uh, it should be a, an international concern, and modern technology should be able to keep these things away from us in order to save humanity. Uh, instead of putting all these uh, monies in projects that are Uh, less dangerous, let's put it that way. I don't, I don't know how to express myself. Less dangerous, because this is, this is something that will definitely take place. And as it is today, we don't have the technology to keep these things or mitigate or take these things away, get these things away from Earth. Anyway, please leave your comments and thank you for your support.